All right, stage four, the World to España. Mikel Kwiatkowski stays in red. So this was actually a pretty hilly stage, finished with a 12K climb. Ben King took the win from the break. You can see here that Simon Yates gained a little bit of time, about 30 seconds, but Mikhail Kwiatkowski did not get dropped. He didn't look in trouble. He looked very relaxed. And um, I guess the next question is, can he actually win the Vuelta? Um, I mean, for me, it's like, I think he might be able to. He's a very strong time trial rider, and you can see here, he's seven seconds ahead of Bookman, 17, 10 ahead of Yates, 12 ahead of Valverde. Um, I'd say more like, that's probably more like two minutes ahead because of his TT team, or maybe at least a minute and a half. He's very solid at time trialing. So he does have a decent buffer, and I guess the mountains have only just begun. Um, but anyway, here's a couple highlights while I just talk over old uh, Mihal Kwiatkowski. So he's won the World Road Race Champion, as you can, uh, Championship, as you can see here. And I just think he's one of those guys who's probably always had a Grand Tour win in him. I mean, he's finished 11th when he was 23 in his first Tour de France, and he didn't really have that much help. So you feel like if he really concentrates, and this well to like... There are hills, but there aren't a lot of, like, really, really long climbs. I think there's only one stage, maybe in Andorra, which is really hard. Um, the rest of them, he can definitely get time. Here's him winning Strada Bianca, beating Peter Sagan. Obviously, he's always been a good climber, but he's more than suited to the shorter climbs, I guess. But I think with his solid TT position, he'll be able to uh, get out a couple, um, like, bonus seconds just from bunch sprints and stuff like that, like Simon Yates did in the Giro, I guess. Um... And then he's won Amstel Gold as well, which is here. Like, he has had some very, very, very solid results. And I feel like he's one of those guys who's just never had the support of a team. Like, Team Sky isn't great. Like, he was isolated from about 4K to go. Um, here's him also uh, winning E3 Harold Becker in 2016. Um, but I feel like, yeah, definitely um, 2017, actually. Uh, yeah, for sure that he could um, win... The welter. I mean, I don't really see why not. Like, obviously, Quintana has done the tour as well, but no one's looking incredible. I mean, there's always a couple of good climbers, but Kwiatkowski can time trial and he can climb pretty well. So, will he win the welter? I don't know. It's not. It's hard to tell on everyone's form, but can he win it? Definitely. I de he can definitely win. He's won one Strada Bianca twice. He's won Milan San Remo. I mean, he's won some big races. Um, so, yeah. Cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. What do you think? Do you think Kwiatkowski can actually win the Vuelta or is he just going to die after they hit the mountains proper and just like, you know, not really um, be able to survive in the very high mountains against people like Quintana? Um, for me, I think he will be able to survive. I think that he showed that in the Tour de France last year when he was really, really solid doing some incredible turns for Chris Froome. Um, so I think he probably can. Um, it just depends, I guess, if Team Sky have the proper support for him uh, and what the dealio is. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I'll see you in the next vid.